Hey everybody, welcome back to another Ikari Kenshin video. We've got some stuff to discuss and we've got good news. So let's get into it. Firstly, um, <laughs> I hate to say this, but it does kind of suck. We are going to talk about the blue notes from, <laughs> from Blizzard. So hunters, and I am one of those. We've got nerfs. We've got nerfs. We've got more nerfs. This is round six of nerfs. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is what they... We did get some buffs. Uh, we're going to talk about what I think their thought process behind that is after I go over the notes. But let's start off with Hunters. The Hunters and Priests got a nerf this week. Uh, firstly, on Hunter side, Chimera shot weapon damage is increased to 100% and it was 85%. And explosive shot base damage is increased by 25% before attack power modifiers. Mana cost of Chimera shot, explosive shot, carve, kill command, and flanking strike was reduced by 50%. Beast Mastery Rune, bonus health, and damage provided to Hunter Pets reduced by 20% and from 30%. Beast Mastery Rune bonus focus generation provided to Hunter Pets is reduced to 50% from 80%. As a note, an additional note here from the developers, we remain concerned that Hunter Pets are still too powerful and believe that the best way forward is to rein in Beast Mastery Rune while compensating via the Hunter's main spells. So to, I guess to reiterate on that, what they're trying to do is nerf the pets and buff the Hunters. So from the first couple of notes here, when they're talking about um, increasing chimera shot and increasing explosive shot and reducing the mana cost of all your shots and flanking strike and such what i think they're doing is they're kind of preparing for phase two right so i believe that their the reason behind the buff of the hunter and nerfing of the pets is because in phase two there is a talent in the hunter tree that actually increases the focus regeneration of your pet. So it would kind of offset the the rune, not offset the rune per se, but it would make the rune more overpowered if they were to keep it at where it was in the game at 80%. Right here it says, Beast Mastery Rune Focus uh, Regeneration Provided to Hunter Pets reduced to 50 from 80. So if this was still at 80% and we went over here and looked at the talent, um, here it is right here. It says increases the focus regeneration of your pets by 10%. And then if you put another point in it with makes it two points, it makes it 20%. So that would be a hundred percent focus regeneration if they kept it at 80. So I can see why they decided to switch it and reduce the amount of generation of uh, focus here. And another thing is, I think that they really want to try and focus more on the hunter's damage more so than the pet's damage because pets in phase one have been completely overpowered. They have been able to solo bosses in dungeons and in BFD. So it makes a lot of sense that they would want to nerf how powerful our pets are. And I'm okay with this particular nerf outside of all the other nerfs because they have already nerfed Explosive Shot and Chimera Shot in the first week of Phase 1, but they decided to buff it back up, which is very cool. All right, so moving on to Priest. Their base healing done... By their rune abilities is reduced by 20%. And there's a note here that says priests are outperforming other healers significantly. This adjustment will apply to prayer of bending, penance, and circle of healing. We'll confirm here tomorrow when the changes 
go live, which have already happened, obviously. So basically what they're saying is that healers are top healers in the game right now. They are the best healers by far, and the only thing coming close to that is Rest of Druids. And so they decided to nerf them a little bit to kind of bring them back into, I guess, the competition with the rest of the healing classes. So that is what's going on here. So in other news, what we're going to be talking about is we finally got a release date for phase two of season of Discovery. Let's go there now. This is the uh, the official post here. February 8th is the release date for Phase 2 of Season of Discovery. Now, on their official World of Warcraft X, formerly known as Twitter, they posted this short little video, and we'll play it here for you. Okay, a lot of people are super excited about this. And if you really pay attention to the this part in the in the clip, you can see that, you know, the sky goes from clear to blood red, which I'm sure is indicating that PVP event that they're planning to do for um Stranglethorn Vale, which is going to be freaking epic, I think. Um, I'm still excited to know what the new game mode is going to be. From what I understand, it's not going to be anything like the Ashenvale event, which is very good because the Ashenvale event has been kind of broken. Not going to lie, and it hasn't been the, the most fun. It's literally just a PvE event, and it, there's PvP sprinkled about, you know what I mean? So... I'm open to changes and a new mode, and I'm actually hoping that it would be something kind of like a Battle Royale situation. I'm, I really love Battle Royale games. I played a lot of Fortnite, and I played a lot of Apex Legends and such, so I think it would be a very cool change-up for World of Warcraft if they did something like that in Strangle Thor Vale. So we're going to read the post that they posted underneath of it. It said, get ready for Season of Discovery Phase 2 where your adventures will take you from level 25 to 40. Reward additional talent points to 31. Take on the challenge of Nomergon as a new raid dungeon. Discover new runes and abilities and more. Now, I mean, we already knew this from the roadmap, so that's that goes without saying, but this is, this is really cool. So we already know we're going from 25 to 40. Um... And I'm excited about that. I don't know about you guys. If you're excited, you know, sound off in the comments below. But that pretty much concludes this video. I just wanted to talk about the changes that were coming or that had come a few days ago and also the release date announcement for phase two. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you guys commented below. Anything that I went over you guys want to discuss, let's talk about it in the comments. Please like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.